O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. Hasten to save me, O God. O Lord, come quickly to help me. Jesus Christ is Lord of all. Praise and thanks to God. This morning dawns, dear Savior, my praise and thanks I bring for your rich grace and favor. With songs of joy I sing, though seated on your throne, you still. Good morning. Welcome to our last morning prayer for this week. Today is Friday, February 9th. Yesterday in our devotion, we heard Paul's encouragement that since we've been raised with Christ through baptism, we are to focus on heavenly and spiritual things instead of on earthly things. Today's lesson shows us the power source in order to do that. Our lesson comes from Colossians 3, verses 15 through 17. Paul writes, let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, since as members of one body you are called to peace. And be thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly, as you teach and admonish one another with all wisdom, and as you sing psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs with gratitude in your hearts to God. And whatever you do, whether in word or deed, do it all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. This is the word of the Lord. The peace of Christ that Paul talks about in the first verse is the rest and contentment that come from knowing Jesus and his full and free forgiveness. It's also the calm assurance of knowing that whatever is happening in our lives, no matter how harmful or how hard it might seem, God is keeping his promise to make it work for our good. I once heard that peace of Christ described as the still waters lying on the bottom of the ocean, even though the waters up on top, up on the surface, are being whipped around by a storm. As believers in Christ, we've experienced that peace. But I think we'd all like to experience more of that peace. Paul tells us exactly how to get it. He says, let the word of Christ dwell in you richly. How we use and treat the word of God is really the subject matter of the third commandment. Remember the Sabbath day by keeping it holy. For us New Testament Christians, it's not so much about a day as it is about how we treat God's word. We are to learn, read, study, obey, and believe the word, and not just to obey a command of God, but that obedience is really for our benefit, for the spiritual benefits we receive through it. Psalm 1, for instance, says, Blessed is the one who delights in the law of the Lord, in other words, the word of God, and meditates on it day and night. That person is like a tree planted by streams of water, which yields its fruit in season, and whose leaf does not wither. Christians want Bible reading and Bible study to be a regular part of our lives. 
Because the more we study and learn it, the deeper our faith in Christ will grow and the more we're going to produce the fruits of faith that God is looking for in our lives. So it's good and beneficial for our faith as we watch these morning devotions. It's good and beneficial when you read your own Bible and other printed devotionals. It's good and beneficial when you attend joint worship services to be fed the bread of God's word and sacrament. It's good and beneficial when we get together for corporate Bible study. There we can help one another correctly apply and interpret the scriptures so we can grow in faith and godly living. Thanks be to God for your growth in faith by his word in these devotions. And thanks be to God for our continued growth in public worship this weekend. God willing, we'll see you there. Have a blessed weekend. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. O Lord, our Heavenly Father, Almighty and everlasting God, you have brought us safely to this new day. Defend us with your mighty power, and grant that this day we neither fall into sin nor run into any kind of danger. And in all we do, direct us to what is right in your sight, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. Let us praise the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen.